very common patient we see is a patient who has lumbar stenosis. Lumbar stenosis is the most common condition that we treat surgically in any patient over the age of 55. But it can really happen earlier in life, even as young as the 30s. What stenosis is, is a series of changes in the spine that results in the nerves becoming pinched by disc bulging, thickened ligaments, arthritis in the joints. And as the spine becomes more narrow, the patient develops aching and pain through their back, sometimes through their buttocks and all the way down their legs. It can be very debilitating. It can affect the way they walk. It can limit their activity level. And it can be quite painful. With those patients, we like to follow a conservative approach, uh, if possible, using therapy, sometimes chiropractic care, injections, pain medications, and behavior modifications. But as the disease advances, it might require surgical intervention. Traditional surgical methods can include open laminectomy approaches, which involve large incisions and muscle splitting approaches. They can be debilitating, painful surgeries. Newer advances in technologies in our field involve what we call motion-preserving technologies. These include such things as artificial disc replacement, and in some cases, interlaminar stabilizing devices, one of which is called a Coflex. The purpose of these products is we want to stabilize the spine and decompress nerves, but not necessarily have to fuse the spine or put screws and rigid constructs in the spine. We want to help the patient preserve their normal anatomy. The purpose of this is to help the patient's current condition of back and leg pain, but hopefully prevent problems in the future. With posterior approaches, we can use something called a Coflex or an interlaminar implant. It's a flexible titanium device that after we've decompressed the spine, we can place this in the back of the spine. It helps stabilize the spine. It helps preserve the patient's normal motion. It relieves the back and the leg pain. And ideally, it will create more stable spines so that they don't have problems resurface in the future. Motion preserving devices are uh, intended to decompress the spine and help back and leg pain. But by restabilizing the spine with the artificial disc type device, we're able to avoid fusions. The benefit of this is maintaining the patient's normal spine motion. And ideally down the road, they have less problems, less need for surgery, less pain, and hopefully protects the remaining levels of the spine from degenerating in the future.